looked and now it became so much cheaper as you can see it goes down on to 26.08 on TDC exchange and um, some of them out there on TV may say that that's a bad thing however I don't believe it I think it's bad for all producing countries it's bad for oil companies that drill oil obviously many spots around the world have stopped drilling solely because they assumed that it would be a waste to sell oil so cheap however I'm sure that they were right as you can see why would somebody sell their oil for 30 if they could wait a year or two and sell it for 64 it's business however soon the world will go more and more electric and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, oil is not going to be such a big deal no longer now as you can see my sell position has been completely wiped out um, it was rising I need to buy I hope it's still going to rise so far most of the times I'm wrong but I'm not looking I'm looking at other asset classes out there and uh, in order for somebody to trade a minute somebody has to watch it continuously all the time it's very important that's Apple look at that Apple is uh, going down this minute BAM that's one day as you can see it's super choppy that's a massive chop right here most of the days have suffered from these jumps that's that's for for my opinion for a trader that's bad that's really really bad as it would be especially that bad for me because I tend to follow the trend and uh, if the market's going down I expect it to go down and do not expect it to open much higher the next day because there is a distinct possibility that uh, I'll notice now look at that look at what's happening here I pressed on Coinbase because when I was on oil Bitcoin USD Bitstamp location which is the very top wasn't the very top the very top was Coinbase and now I pressed on Coinbase and I bought two additional Bitcoins I need to reduce this position and um, I'll have to input my long term trade once again and short term trade once again so the first things first long term trade I expect it to move forward I'm buying my Bitstamp exchange trade one minute I'm expecting it to go down look at that it went up for so long I'm sure that's uh, very very much obvious that the market should soon move south that is uh, a truly truly strong possibility because it's just obvious that uh, the resistance should hit and the market should try and reach the support level because that's just how it kind of moves up and down right now for a short term trade here for maybe a couple of hours I would certainly short it I'm sure at some point it will start to go down but even for a few minutes here I'm going to short it too I hope that uh, it will start climbing down 
and uh, as you can see it hit 55 bucks right here but uh, as uh, I have already noticed this previously it's uh, hard to say anything specific about one minute candle it just kind of moves up and down without any kind of sense and only from uh, the past out here I can tell what's going on let's look at the headlines out here out here Metropolitan Bank holds all cryptocurrency related wire transfers that's very interesting I wonder what's that what is that all about in a move that will have far-reaching implications the bank has halted all cryptocurrency related wire transfers I wonder why it says that this bank has been very pro cryptocurrency and Coinbase was using it Coinbase exchange however it didn't work out that well cryptocurrency markets fall after recent rise most coins in red obviously and surprisingly Cryptocurrencies tend to move on the same direction. I don't think that uh, it should be like that. I think that's a proof of manipulation. I think that's that's the absolute, like clearest and biggest proof of manipulation. If I would be a watcher, and I would be kind of employed to look for manipulation in the stock market. And someone they would give me a, a, a look at the cryptocurrencies and would point me that uh, cryptocurrencies are falling and rising at the same uh, or a very similar rate at the same time. Most of them, I would say that it's certainly manipulation, and we have to find out who is behind this. However. In uh, this world right here that we're currently living at, nobody is going to judge people for pouring their money <clears throat> into cryptocurrencies. So it is fair to assume that <clears throat> uh, billions of dollars or euros are being uh, invested into cryptocurrencies and taken out from the cryptocurrencies by the same force or organization at the same time that's why we see for example ripple going down when bitcoin is going down too that's because for some reason somebody out there who either has the majority of money and is in control of cryptocurrency market movement is simply taking the profit out it could be a profit it could be not I personally believe that it's not somebody who is after the profit I think that it's just fake money being created solely to manipulate the market by organization that will never be shown publicly because that would be against the law I believe that would be against the law and that's it but I don't know if that would be against the law. If somebody out there creates um, people or fake people and fake organizations that uh, commonly together invest and take money out of market and that makes the market move to one specific direction, <clears throat> that could be completely against the law. But it could be simply that this is how the world is being run and uh, it's, uh, it's fine that if, uh, for example, what if somebody would say that if the stock market would not be manipulated at all, then there wouldn't be a stock market out there. That the stock market is just completely fake. 
uh, solid so that commodity prices, stock prices could be <clears throat> manipulated. So if a company goes on for a public offering, that means that company's price can barely be determined by its owners. <clears throat> But it's fine. The way it works, I like it the way it works, and I think it's working just fine. If the oil is not priced at $500, <clears throat> it's perfect. If the oil is priced at $26, it's perfect. If the oil is at 64 right now, I'm sure it's just fine, because when I look at petrol prices out there, they are where they should be. <clears throat> They're not increasing rapidly. Everything seems to be stable, and I think that it's stable due to all of this manipulation. <clears throat> However, manipulated or not, it's real money. <clears throat> <clears throat> and if I'm right, and if I'm lucky, then I should be able to draw money from the broker and uh, into my account and then I would be so much more happier that the market is manipulated so I'm not blaming anybody if it's being manipulated I'm sure it's for uh, the best purpose of uh, humanity and not it's not being manipulated against one or a group of individuals or countries out there however I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the market is a weapon and uh, some companies out there will never be valuable as much as they should be and vice versa. Let's look else what's out there on the news. Can online gambling ever become safe and transparent business? I don't know. It probably is safe and transparent. Otherwise, the people... Uh, would uh, find out right the law enforcement would crack down on uh, intransparent gambling business central bank of indonesia warns against all cryptocurrency use sides high risk you see for now, when it was rising, it was fair to say that it's fine, and I would agree, it's fine, that it isn't that risky. I'm not sure if it's that risky, because you see, so far there was zero risk, because uh, people would just buy Bitcoin and have it, right? And uh, it would be risky if Bitcoin would start to fall tremendously, as it recently did right here. It went from uh, 19,666 on Bitstamp to 12,800. Well, that's certainly very risky, but considering its growth, it's fine. Besides, that could be just another correction. That's, that's it. Wonders of naming the company blockchain or Bitcoin. Don't use a blockchain unless you really need one. Blockchain and the rise of transaction technology. U.S. Treasury Secretary addresses anonymity, sanctions and digital currencies. Kraken exchange is back online after troublesome system of grid. Blockchain platform makes internet service more private and affordable. Okay, let's go on to the minute. I want to find out what's happening. So far, it looks like I'm right. And... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if now, with a few corrections upwards, it should just simply continue moving downwards, because it was going upwards 
a lot. It could go upwards even more. There's no way to tell, but um, it would be the right time for the market to just slowly but surely move south. And I'm in the money here, and I expect that uh, it will stay like that. On one hour, it's rising, and it was rising quite a bit here, which isn't surprising. what the data tells us about Bitcoin in 2017. That's interesting. Bitcoin arbitraries proclaimed per year. <clears throat> Countries with the most relative interest in searching for Bitcoin in 2017, South Africa, blockchain industry, venture capital funding, <clears throat> it's like in 2012 nobody even knew about it. In 2013, the money just exploded, and by 2017, it was a half billion. It's very interesting. It looks like... Um, the market is still moving south. That's awesome. Oh, wow, look at that. Russian Minister of Finance legalized cryptocurrency trading on approved exchanges. And I thought that the Russians kind of banned it through. But it looks like they're just going to regulate it as much as possible. I've even uh, read somewhere out there that some Russian uh, finance executive out there, politician or so, I'm not sure who, even considered creating its own cryptocurrency. Like cryptocurrency that would be bound to Russia. Obviously, cryptocurrencies are everybody's money. However, Russians want to have their own, which is uh, perfectly fine and makes sense that they want to have something that uh, they could own the most because they could create a cryptocurrency with like uh, which for example would be called ruble and um, there could be like 10 trillion supply and Russian Federation could always keep like 8 trillion supply of that uh, ruble cryptocurrency in its safe uh, and uh, in this case there would be only two trillion in circulation and when the valve would rise russian federation could just throw more rubles in and everybody would have a little bit more eventually the way i look at it the cryptocurrency would just rise in value more and more and uh, in this case it could turn out to be that maybe 50 years from now, if more and more countries do something like that, that's creating their own cryptocurrencies, it could turn out that a country which today creates its own cryptocurrency, which becomes extremely valuable in the future and mostly even used in the future, for example, people just naturally tend to use cryptocurrency as their first choice of payment and receiving payments and wages, then countries that create their cryptocurrency could end up exploding in uh, value 
that they currently have on hand. So, for example, if Russian Federation creates a cryptocurrency with 10 trillion tokens, releases 2 trillion at first, that... Uh,